You know what? Screw it. It's time for a clickbaity video. So, if you're just as into cars as I am, you might come across a point where you think, hey, what would happen if I take the grill of car A and slam it on car B? Or what would happen if car C and car D did some hillbilly redneck kind of stuff so that they produce car E, a mix-up of car C and D? You still following me? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. I'm going to let loose my exquisite Photoshop skills and we're going to see what happens when you crossbreed cars. And that's where the title comes in. Today, we are going to commit automotive blasphemy. <laughs> So, let's start off easy. I always wanted to know how BMWs would look like if they were crossbred with Audi. You too? Okay, here we go. This is a regular BMW 7 Series, right? Now watch this. Boom. Blasphemy complete. And I'm presenting you the BMW A8. It honestly doesn't look too bad. The only thing that I notice is that the straight line and sharp edges of an Audi grille don't really match with the more curvaceous lines of BMW headlights. I also made sure that I removed the BMW logo on the hood and also the BMW logo on the rims. Now onto the rear of this car. Are you ready? Boom. As you can see, not that much has changed. I changed the bumper, I changed the way the side windows look, and I also changed the tail lights, but the BMW 7 Series and the Audi A8 both have similar style tail lights. So no big shocking difference there, although I think that the Audi A8 tail lights look better on a BMW than the current tail lights BMW has. So my advice, BMW, you might want to go and have a talk with Audi. Yeah, I know this was going to happen. Shut up. Next up is a classic 1953 Buick Skylark. And yes, I know, I know, I'm a classic car lover, so I just had to fit this one in. Don't get me wrong, as beautiful as this car is, especially the belt line, which is also known as the sweep spare, I can't stand two things. One of which is its massive toothy grill, and the second is its, its droopy headlights. And granted, I also would look sad if I had an overbite from here to Tokyo and back. But it's time to fix that. Are you ready? Here we go. Boom. I made sure that the Buick lost a couple of teeth along the way, and also removed the chrome appendages that made the headlights look droopy. Lastly, I added a third nipple. I added a third bumper guard that has the shape of a bullet. A common theme at the time. All in all, I think I've cleaned up the car pretty well, and that it looks slightly better than the original. Moving on. I always wanted to know what a finless Cadillac looked like. Well, boom. There you go. Moving on. Dodge is known for creating performance cars, including the Challenger and the Charger. But what if they made a mini MPV that is way overpowered? And what would happen if Dodge decided to cooperate with Kia? This is the brand new generation Kia Soul. And I'm going to give it a Dodge SRT Demon Hellcat Ultra Performance Burnout Bukkake makeover. Are you ready? Boom. Presenting the Dodge Demon Soul. I saw somewhat of a connection between the grille and the dual headlights of a Dodge Challenger and the new headlight treatment of the Kia Soul. So I decided to replace the headlights of the Kia with the headlights and the grille of the Dodge. I also made sure that the original badging is now replaced with Demon and SRT badging. But let's look at the rear of the car, shall we? Because I thought, hey, you know what? If we take the Dodge tail lights and fiddle around with it, they can perfectly fit the shape and size of the tail lights of the original Kia Soul. And so that is what I did, along with adding some larger vents in the rear bumper, as well as giving the car the proper Dodge and SRT branding. Effectively, we can conclude that the Dodge Demon ate your soul. Moving on, because we can also do it in reverse. This is a Dodge Challenger that tries to take off any minute, but if a Kia Soul can get Dodge headlights, why wouldn't a Dodge receive Kia headlights? And boom! As you can see, I updated the headlights and also changed the grille. Please do keep in mind that the Dodge Challenger, in the way it looks today, already came around in 2008. The Dodge Challenger is keeping the same design over 10 years now, and I think it's time for an update. And honestly, the Kia headlights don't look too bad. Maybe Dodge should have a talk with Kia. Oh, so now you're all quiet. 
Okay. Last example I have for you today is a mix-up of hatchbacks. In this case, a Ford Focus and a Mercedes A-Class. Now watch this. I am going to do some advanced wizardry. This is the newest generation Ford Focus. Now let's remove everything but the headlights of this car. Now I'm going to flip the headlights. And if I also let loose my exquisite drawing skills, I can see that the headlights of this Ford Focus now look a lot like the headlights of the new Mercedes A-Class. You don't believe me? Watch this. Regular Mercedes A-Class. Boom. Suddenly you're looking at the brand new Mercedes Focus or Ford A-Class, whichever way you want it to be. And that's it for today. I am exhausted and I think you too. So thank you for watching and please do let me know in the comments what kind of photoshopped cars you want. Maybe you want, let's say, a Mercedes with a BMW grille. Or maybe some kind of obscene mix-up that should be forbidden by law. Anyway, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And remember to like and subscribe and share if you want more of this. And uh, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. It's where I post cars that I found in the wild on the street. Uh, along with some interesting facts or a story, something like that. None of that promotional or irrelevant bullshit. So once again, thank you and see you in the next